While medieval torture devices were no fun on the receiving end, there's a certain grotesque ingenuity inherent to many of the most horrifying medieval torture methods. Being roasted alive in brazen bull, or around the 12th century, approaches to crime and punishment altered. The shift in justice was from an oppositional to an inquisitorial framework, whereas in the earlier period an accusation would be adjudicated by God through an ordeal. In the later Middle Ages, trials came to be about reviewing evidence and making a judgment. At the same time, a new code of punishment emerged. Serious crimes could no longer be compensated by the payment of a fine. Today we will talk about the most evil torture devices that ever existed. Number 1. Brazen Bull The Brazen Bull, also known as the Bronze Bull, Sicilian Bull, or Bull of Phalaris, was a torture and execution device designed in ancient Greece. The bull was said to be hollow and made entirely out of bronze with a door in one side. According to legends, the Brazen Bull was designed in the form and size of an actual bull and had an acoustic apparatus that converted screams into the sound of a bull. The condemned were locked inside the device and a fire was set under it, heating the metal until the person inside was roasted to death. Pindar, who lived less than a century afterwards, expressly associates this instrument of torture with the name of the tyrant Phalaris. Number 2. The Breaking Wheel the breaking wheel dates back to antiquity when it was used for capital punishment. Also known as the Catherine wheel, it was a popular torture device in medieval Europe and numerous variations were developed, some consisting of a wooden cross rather than a wheel. The victim's limbs were tied to the spokes of a large wooden wheel which slowly revolved while the torturer smashed the limbs with an iron hammer, breaking them in many places. Torture on the breaking wheel might last days, resulting in a slow and painful demise. Number 3. The Rack Introduced to the Tower of London in 1420, the rack was used to extract confessions and incriminating information from suspected traitors, heretics, and conspirators. The key word here is suspected. In many cases, victims were innocent and usually confessed to stop the torture. So what is the rack? Imagine a bed-like wooden frame raised from the ground with a roller at one end or both. The victim was forced to lie down on the device, with his or her ankles and wrists secured by ropes wrapped around axles near the head and foot of the rack. The axles were turned by poles inserted into sockets, so the victim's hip, knee, shoulder, and elbow joints were dislocated as slowly and painfully as possible. Before moving to the next, can I ask you a favor? Please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Number 4. The Judas Cradle The Judas Cradle was a gruesome medieval torture device. According to sources, the Judas Cradle was initially devised in ancient Rome as a way to deprive people of sleep. Its nastier uses were devised in later centuries. The idea behind the device is relatively simple. The cradle is a stool topped with a pyramid rather than a flat surface. The condemned person was supposedly suspended from ropes above the device and slowly lowered on the tip of the pyramid. After that, the victim was slowly dropped so that their own body weight forced the pyramid into their body, ripping them open. Number 5. The Iron Chair The iron chair existed in many forms and went by various names, including the Chinese torture chair, the Judas chair, and the fantastically generic chair of torture. Despite these variants, in pretty much all cases, the victim was seated on brass and placed over an open flame to slowly roast alive. A more brutal version than the standard flesh roaster had spikes on the seat, armrests, leg rest, and back. As you make it this far, please let us know in the comments which one of them is the most terrifying. Please leave a like and subscribe to Executus. Thanks for watching.